everybody, it's me Margaret and I feel like a show and tell video today. Not because I have a lot to show and tell, <laughs> but as a matter of fact, it's because I don't. I have been decluttering and cleaning as I talked about in a previous video, getting rid of things and we're in my craft room. I'm actually sitting on the floor in my craft room right now with a huge mess behind me, hence the black background to hide it. But because of that, and because I'm making great progress, I haven't had as much time to devote to, you know, sitting and crafting. Uh, I'm tired when I sit down in the nighttime, so I really haven't been picking it up. But when I do, I have been working on a few simple things, and I think that is the theme for me this whole year. Those of us who like knitting and crochet we know that it has this brain benefit it's a relaxation thing they even use it in recovery centers and whatnot i don't know what it does it releases some chemical in the brain the repetitive nature of it is very soothing and it's it's good so that's where i am this year is everything i want everything to be calm and soothing that affects my pattern choices and of course the good old hitchhiker can you see the little teeth on the edges of that the teeth go all the way along one edge if you've never seen this before and i love this pattern it's simple it's easy to memorize i do modify it just a touch just to make it a little bit simpler for me to remember but for the most part, it's the same thing. Another thing I like about it is its shape. It's rather uh, thin. I'm not really a shawl-wearing person exactly, nor am I a scarf-wearing person, but I would wear this. It's a unique shape. It's pretty. <laughs> the yarn, I think the yarn is pretty. And I can wear it without it being overwhelming. I don't have a very long neck and especially now that I'm getting this turkey neck I really like to have things to cover it up but right now in the summertime that would not be an option but I always keep going back to these simple patterns that I know and love and I think the reason why is because it is a real soothing activity I'll put a link to this in the description box below um, most people in the knitting community have heard of it. It's by Martina Bem. It is a paid-for pattern, and there are some copycat patterns I've noticed that are free. I think the Red Heart website has one that is um, similar and worth looking at. And then I've also been doing a little crochet, some hats. Now, let's keep in mind that crochet was my first love. Actually, loom knitting, you know, with the real loom, that was my first experience into the yarn world I guess other than crochet crochet years ago like when I was I don't know 12 something like that I tend to go back to crochet a lot because to me it is easier to me it is uh, it's, it's like going back to an old friend type situation and so I've pulled out my scraps I'm getting to the bottom of the barrel on my scraps and I am just doing whatever pops into my head without a pattern too much thought is just, I can't deal with it today. It has to be fun. I had made this palm a while back with some scraps, and so I just made a simple yellow hat to put on top of it with that camel stitch binding, uh, I mean edging. And then I had two random little small balls of this. This is Red Heart Unforgettable title is the colorway and if you know that yarn there are long gentle color changes throughout it and so when I had the the two balls it was like okay wait a second where should I join this to get the continuous round and again I don't want to be thinking too much so I said oh let's just stick it on here and see what happens and it turned out fine <laughs> I like it so that was pretty painless this is just a simple half double crochet hat with a back post, front post ribbing on the bottom. And then, like I said, bottom of the barrel for my scrap bin. So <laughs> this was a, a bulky weight yarn. And this is the ever popular, or at least ever popular to me, better late than never beanie. And I do have a tutorial for this simple striped hat if you want to, but I did not have enough of the reddish maroon color and the gray color, so I just alternated them between the navy blue. So good for me for using up scraps. Oh wait, I have another one. 
Oh, now this was a new pattern that I tried. Now I'm going to have to look this up if you like this pattern. It's, can you see? I don't know if I can get close enough. It's a series of alternating double crochets and single crochets. And it comes out with a pretty little pattern. It was very simple. Um, of course, like I said, anything I do these days is going to be simple. You know, it just gives you a simple little texture that, uh, say, a regular half double crochet has. It's just a little different. So I like that, and I would do it again. Free pattern, I'll find it and link it below. Now, as I've told you many times before, I wash all my hats before I donate them to charity. And so right now, as I'm making stacks of what I'm giving away, what I'm keeping, and things like that, I have done a lot of wash and packing up for the donation process when it cools off or when it gets closer to being cool. So I did a lot of laundry. And I have to tell you, I love the experimentation of washing different types of acrylics. Now, be aware that some charities that you donate to may require that you only use wool. Um, other charities might say don't ever use wool because of allergies and things like that. So I tend to, there's more of those than there are the other. So I tend to give to ones who would prefer no wool. And so one of the things that I do to soften my acrylics, and you know how it is where every acrylic kind of feels a little bit different. And one of my things that I do is I just wash them in the washer, put them in the dryer, and they come out completely different. It's wonderful. And I actually do have a video showing you exactly the process that I follow, and I'll link that below if you want to know. But I have to say that this little yarn, which was a dollar a skein that I got from Big Lots, several years ago is fantastic like I'm going to make myself something out of this yarn before I use it all up because I truly truly like it it was called Gloria or some strange label and it's not a number four worsted it's more DK sport something like that and I really, really like this little yarn. And now remember, Big Lots is one of those places that you never know what you're going to find. So if you have one near you, it's probably a, just a good practice to drop by once a month or so and just to see what's available in case you are in the market for, you know, buying large quantities of yarn for giving or something like that. But I like this stuff. And I, like I said, I'm going to make something for myself out of it because I really, really do like it. Now, this is another one of those dollar yarns that I got from Big Lots and you can see I worked it up on one of the machines it was the small machine and you can kind of see it's a reversible hat where it's solid red on this side and it's white with a red trim but can you kind of see the red through it that's because I think that the machine itself is better suited for a little bit heavier yarn um, so you can't see through it as well but whatever I, st I just love this yarn good old red heart always does get softer and it's funny how some of the so colors get softer than others it i don't know it's strange red heart super saver i'm talking about i this is miserable it feels horrible until you wash it and then it is considerably improved is it a nice merino wool no it's not that soft but it's definitely something I'm proud to give away. Now the funny thing about Karen Simply Soft to me is that it really doesn't change very much. It's soft when you start working with it. If you wash it, you dry it, it's soft when it comes out. It's pretty much the same. The drape doesn't appear to be affected or anything. So that's kind of neat. Now here's something completely different. This is mainstay yarn from Walmart. Two dollars a skein. It's about the same yardage as Red Heart Super Saver and I think it's supposed to be competing with Red Heart Super Saver. First and foremost that I think it's important to know is that Red Heart prides itself on Super Saver being made in the United States. It's printed on, on the, the label and they, you know, that's just a big thing. This was made in China. It's $2 a skein where the other, I don't know, I'll put prices up here because I, I did take footage of that. I like the way it feels. Quite frankly, I thought it felt a little bit softer than Super Saver. It washed up nicely. I would not say that it, there's a huge difference from before and after the washing process. 
Another thing about it is that the color selection is a little different. I am not a Red Heart Super Saver fan. I know I do use it. I do talk about it. But I, it's not my favorite yarn. But one thing that they have hands down better than anybody, I think, is a color selection. You can get it in any color you want. Well, the color selection for this is um, not that broad and it's also rather unique colors there's no there's just a handful of basic colors the rest are all just a little bit different and and I liked them they're, I mean they're nice colors but it's not going to be like a go-to yarn for me but the price is right it is good I of course prefer to buy made in America but now I think the big question is did I like working with it well Yes and no. This was done on the generic knitting machine that I did a review on a while ago. Love that little thing. It, it did beautifully. I had no problem with it on that machine whatsoever. Um, here I did the machine, but then I did a crochet edging. Now, I've said before, I have no problem crocheting with anything. I can crochet with straw if I wanted to, and it would, doesn't bother me. But the quick big question is knitting with needles. And here's one I did in blue, one of those little baby hats that I like to do with the gathered top. Um, did it, oh, and the pink was Vanna's Choice, so don't go by that. I have to say it did the job, you know, it's fine, but well, I'm still on a hunt for the best acrylic I like to knit with. Um, can I knit with acrylics? Of course I can, but do I enjoy the process is what I'm trying to say. And even when it has been washed, it didn't seem to, um, usually evens out the stitches and things like that, just going through the washing process and it just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to. I just don't, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's just not my favorite to knit with. Let's put it that way. Now, after all this talk about Red Heart Super Saver being made in the USA and how big of a deal that was, I do want to talk about this. This is a new yarn from Red Heart called Chic Sheep, and it's actually uh, promoted by Marley Bird. You may know her. She's done some tutorials. She's a spokesperson for Red Heart, and she does audio podcasts. You can find her podcasts on iTunes if you're interested. But this is a 100% merino wool. Look at that. And it is washable, machine wash. So that's really good. It's a number four worsted weight, so typical U.S. around here. But I have to tell you I enjoyed working with this. Now I've only had the opportunity to crochet with it so far, but as we know, I can crochet with just about anything. I don't care. But Boy, did I enjoy the feel of this. Very nice stuff. So I'm really looking forward to firing up the needles and giving this a test run. I have great hopes for it. I think it's going to be really good. But I do need to point out that this is made in China, so not all Red Heart products are made in the U.S. The colors I have are poolside, that's this one, and linen. And linen is very interesting color. I'm not sure if it's coming out right here. It's um, sort of a grayish, pinkish, natural color. I don't, know, I don't know how to describe it. Very nice. I like it. Oh, here's a cute one. Look how this turned out. I love that. Isn't that a happy hat? This was a scrap hat from um, Sheepish, Vicki Howell's Sheepish Yarn. It's discontinued now. It's a shame because I really, really like it. It's the same texture of that Red Heart Unforgettable. Um, can you see the fuzzies around the outside edges and stuff? It makes it look more like a natural fiber, I think. I like it a lot. And this is just a um, reversible hat. 
using just the scraps and the only reason why it came out why I didn't say I'm going to make a hat with this teal color and then this orange color right here I didn't do that I was busy you know saying okay what is the order of the colors I'm going to do and I was busy and I ran down here and I had a whole lot of this so I said hmm looks like I'm coming to the brim I'll just do a whole lot and have a trim and I had no idea how much trim I was gonna have but it looks cute I think I like it I really hate that that yarn was discontinued because I, I like I like it a lot and that was something that I could actually knit with and enjoy oh but you know what that was a wool and acrylic blend that's why and I didn't realize it till I washed all these hats and I found this crocheted version in there I had kind of done the same principle <laughs> with this crochet hat but that's pretty huh once it gets on a head and it's all round where are my heads so here it is stuffed with a ball it looks better like that doesn't it I guess it would be more like that huh but that's a cute little hat I don't have any kid mannequin heads so I use these styrofoam balls um, this one is the six inch diameter and I measured its circumference and wrote it on the outside of the plastic can you see that without the glare and then the five inch diameter is a really good one for babies if you want to do that just keep the plastic on them because the yarn doesn't like to slide over styrofoam the plastic helps a lot now back to the discussion on washing this is red heart super saver in a variegated yarn it's done on the machine I do not get excited about this yarn my addy thought it was great but when I tried to use it on the little generic mid-size machine it, it was very very difficult this was the addy that I did it on now another thing about it is it's extremely rough it's like it's made out of sandpaper or something it's a very very not a good feeling yarn so I used another yarn on the inside I th no this is super saver too but a solid super saver is always softer than a variegated super saver go figure don't know I have to learn more about the the manufacturing process I guess before I could answer that question been washed been dried it always washes and dries beautifully but I have to say that it is still not soft I wouldn't want to call this a reversible hat because I wouldn't want this side against my skin this is you know like you could I meant for it to be reversible um, and so you could have a little you know busy border or something like that but Mm -mm. no that just no don't do that I mean at least not for me and again I'm not doing this for me some people may not be bothered by that I am bothered by it that's just my personal opinion now something else that doesn't change very much in the washing process to me is Vanna's choice I feel like it's it feels pretty close to the same as when it went in than when it comes out it may be a bit softer but I will tell you this my washing machine makes a difference when we moved in this house we thought we had a gas dryer hookup which is what I had on my old set of front loader machines and we did not so being spoiled as I am I said well let's just buy a whole new set instead of just buying a dryer right so we go and I'm thinking that I didn't think the front loader cleaned as well as my previous washer which is your regular old-fashioned washer with the agitator in it like this you know so I said let me get another top loader well I did but the top loaders on the market of today don't have the agitator they don't use any water it seems like literally I was finding dry spots on my laundry when I would open up the thing the way it works is the weight determines how much water gets in there and then it just kind of goes swish 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 and that's supposed to clean your clothes I don't know now I have since learned that if I put my clothes in and wet them I pour water all over there that I'm gonna get more water in the tub because it weighs more but that's a pain in the neck so I'm going back to my old one as soon as we can we have to get somebody to carry it up the stairs because it's very heavy so anyhow to make a long story short I think with acrylic and I'm almost positive I'm willing to, to really bet on this here 
acrylic needs to have the movement in order to break it down because it is a form of plastic no fabric softener no I put fabric softener in it because I still am so hard-headed I'm trying to soften it but I really don't think any fabric softener hair conditioner anything like that is going to be absorbed by plastic it's the actual friction of the washing process and if you're tossing it around in a front loader where it's being beat to death as it goes around it's going to get in my opinion cleaner and it's bound to be softer because of the the, the and then you take it and put it in the dryer and it's tumbling around in there too and that helps the process as well so in the washer that I have right now where it just kind of goes I mean I literally set it for one hour and 45 minutes on the heavy-duty setting every time I washed up because it's the only way I feel like I can get my clothes clean it drives me crazy I can't wait to get rid of that thing so did I finish my thought? What I'm trying to say is because it was so gently washed, I don't think that it can really make a difference without being really washed. Now, almost everything else that I have in here you've seen before. Not that you haven't seen some of those before as well, but there's nothing more to say about the washing process. This is a Martha Stewart blend, uh, not available anymore. It's a uh, 70 acrylic, 30% wool. Love it. Love those blends, apparently. That must be my, my thing. But now both of these are discontinued, so I have to look for more. They also are so easy care with wash and dry, so you, you know, and it knits well with needles and everything. So that's probably my favorites of the big box inexpensive yarns are ones that are blends. And as you can see, wash is fine. Can you see? <laughs> I mean, can you actually see that it washed fine? I, I just take my word for it. Feels great. Now, fortunate for me, I'm about to go out of town on my girls' trip. Uh, leaving the boys behind. This is my friends from college years ago. Just absolutely love these people and I look forward to it. I can't tell you how much I look forward to this trip every year. It's very important. So I will be taking my hitchhiker shawl and hope to get some more done on that both on the plane and some relaxing while I'm there. And uh, and that's what that's that's what's going on. So you probably won't see a video from me next week and that's why. So <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Bye.